everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. It's a very important episode as well. We're going to talk about a lot of controversial topics, especially this first one, as well as later on in the video. I'm going to share with all of you some inside information about Team Immortals. But I hope you guys all enjoy, and the time markers for every story are also down below. But this first topic I want to talk about is very important and also very controversial. So please make sure to leave a comment down below what you guys think and give me reasons as to why, as we're going to talk about how to cheat in CSGO. Thanks to my man, Bunny Hop. He actually is a YouTuber many of you guys have heard about in the past few weeks who publicly cheats on YouTube. Now, first off, I understand why you guys would not like his content if you do not like cheaters I completely understand that what he does is not necessarily a good thing but what he does here for me he actually made us a video for this for this CSGO news episode he made us a personal video which I'll link down below for all of you it's a 25 minute long video but it shows you all how to cheat in CSGO for free and I hope my main goal for actually publishing this video and showing his video off as well is to not brag it's not to get views it's not to you know hopefully in my own gain here it's actually to help the VAC system I know a lot of you guys probably won't see past that but my ultimate goal here is hopefully have Valve watch this and understand why their VAC system constantly needs improvements and still definitely as of right now needs improvements. I actually talked about a couple days ago. Many of you probably heard this story as well. One of my good friends out there, and many of you probably use third-party services to boost your PC. He was using a third-party service called Hialgo. It actually boosts his PC's FPS because he can't afford a better computer and he was caught by the VAC band system. He wasn't cheating. He wasn't aim hacking, wall hacking. He wasn't bunny hopping and he was the one caught by the VAC system. Yet we have Bhop who's been cheating for years now and obviously most of the time has never been caught and so I think it's definitely a wrong thing for this VAC system to be so broken and so that's why I'm doing this video for all of you today. So I'm going to be showing some clips of that video, pretty much a 25 minute video and it took Bhop 25 minutes to create some junk code, code that does absolutely nothing. He mixes that with a cheat and injects that cheat into his game and within 25 minutes he was undetected. He was able to do, as you guys can see on screen right now, some very cheating things, obviously manipulating the game in his own favor there and it took him 25 minutes. As of right now, He's been using that cheat for 24 hours and has gone completely undetected and it's absolutely free. Now, please, I advise you not to cheat, guys. Whatever manipulates your files, you will eventually, maybe in the future, although it's not guaranteed, you will most likely be caught by the VAC system and it's definitely not worth losing your account over. I will also link the free cheat he used down below. But again, I'm not advising you guys to cheat. It's just for Valve, to, if they watch this video, to find out ways to better their system. So thank you to Bhop and also details about him. I'll le link his channel down below. I understand if you guys don't like his content, but thank you to him for actually providing this content for us to show on CSGO News at how easy it is to cheat and get away with it. And I feel bad for all the people out there who don't even cheat, but somehow get vacked randomly with all these random waves. It seems though that the cheaters out there are still not getting caught. As of right now, Bhop, his longest cheat, he actually used an aimware detected cheat, undetected for over nine months. On top of that, he's been publicly using YouTube as a platform to promote this kind of stuff, and it took Valve manual bans to actually get his accounts uh, to be banned. So kind of sad to see how broken the vac system is right now. Please leave your opinions on this down below. What do you guys think about that? And everything else will also be linked down below if you guys want to watch how Bunny Hop made his cheat. But also in very important news, we have the Optic Vision episode also linked down below, dropped yesterday. That's our always big announcements for Optic Gaming. So for all you North American fans out there, some big announcements. They actually have acquired Penta's very own HS and he will join up with Alu, Mattis Boy, of course, Freiburg alongside that Mixwell already on the team. And it will be very important news because they also announced in the same episode, according to Mixwell, after this ESL Pro League season, of course, during it, this this 10 week period, all those guys will be moving to North America, presumably as of right now, either Chicago or Texas. They have two different optic gaming houses. So either one of those two locations, the players will move to North America. But after ESL Pro League season is concluded, it will be a full European lineup, most likely for next ESL Pro League season as well. And they're gonna be moving back to Europe. So pretty crazy to see. And here's what Mixwell had to say to confirm that. So what I told Hector is that what makes sense would be to make a European team so I can go back home, play under optic gaming and do a team that uh, can really win tournaments because there's a lot of players in Europe. After we finish this online season, I don't know what's gonna happen, but what I'm sure of is that we want to live at home. So after the online season, all of us will go back to Europe and live with our families in our countries. And I am so thankful to have inside sources now. I know for the past few weeks we've had a lot of inside sources contact me finally for CSGO News episodes. That was one of my ultimate goals eventually for this. But first off, I do also want to thank my insane sponsors out there. Thanks to you guys who watch this. I do have a couple of sponsors lined up. NinjaSwap being one of them and also CSGO.cash. If you guys want to panic sell or even sell your skins as fast as possible, check out their website down below and please do me a favor. They actually check the click count. So if you guys just want to click on that link anyway, they would be greatly appreciated. So thank you guys for that. But also thank you to my inside source. You know who you are. We have 
have an inside source telling us more about the Team Immortal situation. A few weeks ago, many of you probably heard about, we had Hen1 and Lucas1, the twin brothers, who are allegedly going to leave the Immortals lineup, and then KNG alongside them. Of course, that would leave Steel and Bolts in the Immortals organization. And then a few weeks later, after that, we had KNG tweet out that he was a player of Immortals, and that seems confirmed. From my inside source, I can't announce his name. He wants to remain anonymous, but thank you, you know who you are. Apparently, KNG will stay with Steel and Bolts, but it seems almost confirmed ESL Pro League, it kind of gets in the way of this. We don't know whether it will be during ESL Pro League or afterwards. Those twins, Hen1 and Lucas1, will lead the lineup, and they will join up possibly with FNX, or they want to make another team out there. We don't know who or what organization will take them on because they still do have buyouts for their contracts, but yes, the twins will be leaving Immortals. It is guaranteed. And I can't help but love what Perfect World is doing. Many of you guys know Perfect World is the organization who took over the Chinese portion of CSGO, and they're releasing things nonstop. Source 2 is apparently coming soon. They said sometime late summer, obviously probably going to be a bit delayed there, but they also announced their brand new stickers as well, kind of very close to CSGO stickers, but on top of that, they're also going to be public releasing all their bans, all the accounts they've actually banned in the past about month and a half or two months. So far, only 4,500 accounts. Honestly, that's not too many, but it's really funny as well because when they post these publicly on their website, they also get the nicknames of the accounts, which is probably the previous name the account had. If you guys look on screen as well, I'll show you guys some of those funny nicknames. It's just funny to see how the people out there who actually uh, obviously applied for a CSGO account or actually signed up for a CSGO account are already cheating, but on top of that, they have some really funny nicknames. But yeah, Perfect World is doing a great job over there. Source 2 allegedly coming sometime soon, as well as the Chinese Pro League. That scene is going to be coming very, very shortly, going to be growing very, very quickly. And on top of that, even further, we also have new announcements from them that sometime soon, the open beta testing for that scene. So guys, watch out. The skin market could take off, even go in a north direction, even though it's already up right now. The skin market's definitely going to fluctuate a little bit, although the skin markets as of right now are definitely disconnected. But the beta testing should be announced soon, and that's going to be a great influx of players, hopefully, to see us go. And that's going to do it for today's episode of CSK News. Hope you guys all enjoy. And as always, thank you all for the great support. Seriously, can't thank you guys enough. If for some reason, over the past 10 days or so, I've had more sponsor offers than ever. And I seriously can't thank you guys enough for watching these videos. And that, that way, I can actually get these offers and take them. It really means a lot to me. I'm going to school full time and trying to do YouTube as well as part time. So, really, thank you guys so much. Please leave a comment down below which story was your favorite and tell me why. As always, I'll see you guys in a couple days, more episodes of CSK News. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night with another live stream. Should be like a three hour long live stream, a live CSK News show slash QA slash might be drinking some 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 liquid and stuff as always hope you guys all enjoyed live love laugh a lot and i will see you all then that's my outro okay